Hi, what's up? I'm Kim Petrus. I'm here at BuzzFeed, and today I'm going to tell you about my first times sis. First celebrity you found out was a fan of yours. It was Paris Hilton, and she was in my first music video ever, and I was a nobody. I had no songs out, nothing. Nobody knew my music, nothing. And she heard the song and she was like, I love the song and I want to be in the video. That was incredible. And I feel like nobody can ever do anything bigger for me in my whole entire life because that was the start of everything. And um, so meaningful and, and I love Paris so much. And that really just like made my life. First time you woo odd, woo ah. The first time I woo odd was randomly in the studio. I was, um, searching for my producer tag and I was just like yelling things out and then it just like happened randomly one day it just like appeared I don't know why it happened I don't know why it showed up but it's really been the silver lining in my life I feel like it saved me I don't know it, it was just random like four or five years ago Whoa! first musical inspiration probably like Ariel from like the little mermaid or something she is a main pop girl first cell phone you ever owned it was a purple Nokia and it was incredible like there was this like snake game on it right that, that, that was all i would do all day and like download ringtones yeah flex with my ringtones and then like my parents would get mad at me for like spending so much money on ringtones i also remember like having the crazy frog ringtone i want to collab with the crazy frog I, I wonder how much a collab is let's let's link up in the studio first time you messed up on stage oh my god i was like Five, and my mom put on these like dance shows. My mom had like a small dance studio in Germany and I was wearing like a Scottish outfit and I was like tap dancing. <laughs> and th the second like the lights went on, I started crying and needed to get, get carried off the stage. And I was like so scared. I was like, this is my moment. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna get discovered. And I just like cried and got carried off stage. So all my first times were usually like mess ups. That, that should be like the sum up of this video. Like all my first times were just terrible, like terrible experiences. And then I got better at them. And then life, you know, gets easier. You stress less. And now I don't cry on stage anymore. It's lit. First date. So the weird thing is like, I never went on like a real first date with anybody ever. Like anybody I've ever dated, was like a friend of a friend or somebody like from like school or somebody I would meet from work or things like that. Like I've never actually gone on a date with somebody, you know, just like a, an official date. Take me to Versace and then like Louis and then to Chanel, buy me shit. I don't have a dream first date to be honest. Honestly, dates freak me out really hard. A lot of people do love that kind of stuff. First song you wrote, terrible. My first song I wrote was about this dude in like, second grade who didn't like me back. Trash. So next. First meme of yourself you remember loving. I think in general, just when people started saying the woo ah bitch, that was hot. Or when people started referencing the woo ah sensation. So I went to Australia and obviously I had to like meet a koala and hold one. And the koala I held, like they switched it like right, I was like in line. And there were like all these like super like adorable koalas and there was that one really like scruffy looking. Like it was still really cute. And I held it and I took a photo and I posted it. And then there were all these memes of it looking like the, the old man who ate paint. I'm like to a lot of people, I'm like only the girl who held the koala that looks like the man who ate paint. Which is incredible, I feel really honored. A very iconic moment in my life. First album you bought, um, Spice World. Also, um, first movie that I like dragged my parents to go with me to because they would take me to like Disney movies and all of that, like every movie I wanted to see. But like Spice World, I had to drag them into the theater. So, Spice World. First time you performed on TV, Germany. It was in Germany on like a breakfast show. I was like singing one of my old songs. Everything was German. It was like 4 a.m. that I had to get up. I messed up like a lot of it, I got like all the choreo, it was great. But I'm like glad I, I got that over with because now I'm just like so amazing at it, you know? Like it doesn't even bother me that I had this one like nervous moment because now I'm just incredible at everything I do immediately. First thing you notice in someone you're interested in. Definitely humor is a, is a big thing. So I feel like I, I notice that when people just have like a positive, positive attitude and just have fun. Cause some people have like a really nervous energy and then I'm like, eh, it makes me nervous. Like just when people have like a good energy, that's like the first thing I think I notice. Attitude and energy and the color of your aura, you know? Like I notice it right away, I'm like, Lavender. First big purchase. 
my uh, first MacBook Pro. I was really saving up for that one. Um, I was a waitress in Germany, and uh, my MacBook Pro was like my first thing that I got for myself that I was really proud of and really started my career and like my life as a songwriter. So yeah, I still have that first MacBook Pro and I, and I still love it. First time you realized you were famous, I'm still waiting. I can still walk down the street, nobody notices who I am, I can still live a normal life. What the hell, I'm still waiting. I kind of feel like I don't ever want to feel famous either. Like, I, I just always want to like keep pushing, just like, Say the same person, but yeah, I've had a, I've had a, I've had a bunch of pinch me moments, especially like recently selling out my first tour, Demi Lovato coming to my show, meeting Marc Jacobs and like fashion designers after shows. Yeah, just like meeting meeting people is always like crazy. Like meeting people you've looked up to for a long time is always amazing. First kiss, um, it was in Germany with my German boyfriend, my first German boyfriend. It was really like not hot at all. I was just like super nervous. Obviously I, I've like wanted to kiss somebody and I've like rehearsed it a million times, but it was just bad. It wasn't good. I've become a little bit better at it. <laughs> Is anybody's first kiss good? I don't think so. So if your first kiss sucked, you're gonna be all right. You can still be a pop star. So this was my first time. So I hope you guys had fun. Make sure you listen to my new record that's out now, Clarity. And thanks for having me. This was really fun. Whoa! <laughs>